Hello friends, welcome to the fourth tutorial of ComSol Multiphysics. Presented by me, Shirshandu Mitra, Research Scholar of Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. Today, in this session, we will tell you how to model a physics, a problem where more than one problems if i take flowing so what happened when the sunshine falls on the river the upper surface of the river gets heated remain uh, keeping the bulk liquid inside the river cool is the scope of heat transfer from the upper surface of the river to the lower surface of the river. So, basically there is a gradient of temperature at the same time because of the height gradient because of the elevation the river is flowing from the upper to lower region. So, this is a problem where both heat and momentum transfer are involved. So, today in this session we will learn how to model such kind of problems by ComSol multiphysics. So, in the language of ComSol multiphysics, we tell it coupled problem or multiphysics problem. So, today uh, uh, the basic the problem which we will be dealing with is there is a pipe, the walls of the pipe, upper wall and the lower wall will be maintained at different temperatures, and by doing so, we will we'll make a temperature gradient and a pressure drop at the inlet and outlet. So, there will be a flow momentum transfer because of the pressure drop and heat transfer because of the temperature drop. So, to do that I go to model wizard take 2 D as it is a multi physics problem we need to take more than one physics. So, fluid flow obviously will be there. So, I take laminar flow click on add then I look for heat transfer physics yeah here it is if I expand it there will be several options like heat transfer in solids heat transfer in fluidics fluids and heat transfer in pipes so this will be a problem of heat transfer in fluids I click on add so both the physics have been added then I go to study click on time dependent because I will be solving for unsteady state problem then click on done <coughs> and waiting for the main page yeah it has come so once uh, it has come we know what to do <coughs> we right click on geometry take rectangle keep the dimension in centimeter in rectangle I choose width as 10 and height as say 2 centimeter build selected and then uh, we need to choose material. So, material I right click on material then click on add material go to recent materials take water from there add to selection. So, water I select in this solution space yeah it has been selected because blue means it is there now I go to laminar flow before doing the modeling I will show you what are the equations we will be solving so in laminar flow we have our Navier Stokes equation and continuity equation and in heat transfer we will be solving the energy equation so you can see in energy equation there is a term called convective term and there is a u associated with this convective term so this u is basically coming from this laminar flow so uh, then the this is the place where we couple the two equations the laminar fluid flow and heat transfer so from this laminar flow this u has to come to this place in order to make the problem coupled with these two physics and we have to solve this coupled problem so I think it is clear what is what coupling is 
now I right click on laminar flow take my inlet outlet yeah outlet at inlet I take this left side as inlet and keep it at some pressure say 20 Pascal at outlet I take this one as my outlet and keep the pressure zero in heat transfer also we have to maintain certain temperature drop so I choose temperature by right clicking on heat transfer fluid again right click take another temperature yeah so temperature one say this wall I keep it at say 350 Kelvin and temperature 2 say this one I keep it at room temperature itself so now I have to couple the things see how to do coupling you go to heat transfer in fluids 1 there is an option pressure the pressure has to come from the laminar flow physics and so the velocity so I did the coupling now I go to mesh, do simple meshing, normal meshing <coughs> and then go to study and click on compute. <coughs> yeah, the simulation has started. <coughs> yeah it is happening you can see the convergence plot it is decreasing means reciprocal of the step size so I'll teach you what this parameter is in a separate lecture yeah it's completed no now you can see this is the velocity profile and uh, you can see uh, at the wall the velocity is minimum then it is going uh, increasing and again it is coming down to zero maintaining no slip condition at both the walls and the if i see you if i see the temperature profile you can see there is a profile this is yellow that means at high temperature and temperature is going down as we go up if I click here you can see it this is at uh, 315 297 296 295 295 so it is decreasing along this direction if I want to plot these things to get a better visualization I go to result then uh, go to data set right click on it take a 2d cut line cut line 2d suppose i want to take a line here at this place so my x would be 4 and 4 and y will be varying from 0 to 2 just click on plot so you get the line now go to result right click on it take 1d plot group and in 1d plot group take the data set from cut line 2d1 select the time last time step right click on 1d plot group click on line graph <coughs> keep it as parent and plot we are basically plotting the velocity profile so you can see this is the parabolic profile and if you want to see the uh, how it grows with respect to time then you choose time all and plot so you can see the profile is growing as time increases probably it has not yet reached the steady state because if it has reached then we see the very close lines but here we are not seeing close lines so maybe we need to run it for more time steps now if I want to plot the temperature profile in the same plot I click on y axis data go to heat transfer go to temperature take temperature double click on it 